Hi guys, and before today's video starts, this video is sponsored by Printed Memories. Printed Memories is a customised photo book that you can build and design yourself and I'm just about to open mine up. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh my goodness, we've got all of our favourite memories inside here. Look how gorgeous this is. Oh, I remember this. This was our first ever show jump competition. We post and store some of our best photos and most cherished memories on Instagram and Facebook without ever printing them up. So it's really important that you print them um, so you've got these memories forever, an amazing keepsake. Printed memories automatically build your books from photos you've already posted on Instagram and Facebook, so it saves you so much time. They're perfect for any occasion, birthdays, Christmas, Mother's Day, best friends, and we're going to the Maldives soon, so we're definitely going to be printing off our favourite photos after that. Watch till the end, as I've got a special offer just for you. Here's how it works, and it takes just 60 seconds. So you want to go to printedmemories.com, and then you want to press build your book now. So you can also import your own photos from your phone or computer. It's so easy. So step one, you want to choose import source. So Instagram, Facebook, or your own images. Next step, filter out any images that you don't want. The third step is the book is built. Now customize the captions and your cover image. Next, check out and select book size and cover type. And that is it, it is that simple. No matter where you are in the world, printed memories print local to you and ships straight to your door, reducing your carbon footprint and lowering shipping times. So printed memories is guilt-free printing because for every photo book ordered, they plant one tree. Which is amazing for the environment. So it makes sure we give back more than we use. And my special offer is for you that you can get 20% off your first book and instead of one tree being planted, you get two trees being planted, which is amazing for the environment. So now let's continue the video with Popcorn. Hi guys, I'm Harlow, welcome back to another video and in today's video you might have already guessed by popcorn of what this video is going to be about. I'm going to be doing my very requested Saddlepad collection vlog because ever since we got popcorn our Saddlepad collection has just grew and grew and grew. Um, I'm going to be going through like what was my first Saddlepad, what was my most recent Saddlepad that I've got. Um, but yeah, today we actually unboxed a brand new saddle pad. It's my, I'll quickly come around here and point to you guys. It is this lovely Kentucky saddle pad and it's real velvet as well. It's so soft. I've ridden in it today for my lesson and I absolutely loved it. I couldn't fit all of um, the saddle pads on popcorn and on the stand. We've already had to improvise by putting them on popcorn. The rest of my saddle pads are in the storeroom. I'm going to go get them out now um, and we're going to match all of the hat silks and the ear bonnets all together. I'm going to pop popcorn in his stable and we're going to show you all of the saddle pads that we have. Come on. Hopefully they don't fall off. This is the challenge now. I've got all my GP saddle pads here to show you guys that it's all of them are quite hairy, I'm not going to lie. Um, I probably should have tried to get a bit of the hair off before filming this. I'm going to be covered in hair by the, by the end of this video, but it, you know what, it's fine. <laughs> it's winter, what can I expect? But I'm going to start off with the Aqua. This is the first Lemieux saddle pad that we ever got and it really suits Palomino's. Um, as you can see, because it's the first saddle pad, it's very hairy. I've took it to cross, cross country quite a few times. 
I've worn it for my jumping lesson in the video that I fell off. The official colour name for this set is the Azure, but I like to call it Aqua because it's just what I'm more used to. Um, but yeah, my first ever fiddle pad. And I think this is the iconic popcorn colour, one of the, my favourites. I've got the mini Lemieux hat silk because we couldn't get hold of the bigger version, so we had to get mini hat silk. Honestly, I'm actually quite loving the styles on it. It's just a bit smaller than the other hat silks, but it's elastic so it stretches. So next is my chili red. I've got the matching hat silk for it here. And then I took this to my pony camp, but I didn't sleep there because of COVID. Um, and I popcorn refused to jump, and at that time I had an ulcer in my mouth, and I bit into the ulcer when I fell off. Um, but luckily I was wearing the red, so it didn't stain, which was absolutely so lucky because there was blood everywhere. I think I bit into the ulcer and popped it, um, and there was just like blood coming out my mouth. And I was like, I looked at um, my pony camp instructor, and I was like. Oh no. But yeah, it didn't stain, which is a win. If you watch the Popcorn birthday vlog, this was one of the one one of the matchy matchy sets that he got for his birthday. And honestly, I think it's one of my favourites. I'm gonna be saying favourites quite a lot because I do have a lot of favourites. Next is the Glacé Navy. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I think it's the Glacé Navy. It doesn't say it, but I'm going to call it the Glacé Navy. And I, we unboxed this saddle pad the day that we moved to this yard, didn't we? Yeah. And we rode in it, and honestly, I absolutely loved it. We haven't, we, oh, we took it to cross country once, didn't we? So I've worn it a couple times. I really like the Glacé. Um, it's nice that they, um, that Lemieux bring out like a different sort of colour and not just the plain saddle pads. So for the Glacé Blue, I've got the matching polar wraps. Um, they're not here, but I do have them, and Popcorn looks amazing in a full matchy matchy set. But I've also got the matching ear bonnet, and then the matching hat silk. And fun fact about all of Lemieux's pom-poms, they're all faux fur, and I think are all of them detachable. I think so. Um, I think all of them are, are detachable, so you can just take that off and you can, I mean, ride without a pom-pom if you want, um, or you can like, mix up all your pom-poms. I don't think that would end well because I would probably end up not finding the pom-poms that go with the hat silks and it would be a bit of a mystery. But yeah, as easy as that. So let's put my ear bonnet over there and then my hat silk down here and then my saddle pad there. Right next that I blue. This is one of my favourites as well. Um, he Popcorn got this for his birthday. Um, I've got the matching ear bonnet here and then do we have the matching hat silk? Oh yeah we do. Here. So I've got the full matching matchy set. I've got the base layer to match this as well. Let me check. Yep this one's detachable as well. There we go. That confirms it that all of the pom-poms are detachable. Um, I've got the matching ear bonnet here. Popcorn, even though he is a pony, he doesn't fit the um, mini Lemieux pony range. He fits in the bigger range perfectly, and I'm glad because in the bigger range, they've got a bigger choice. Next is the navy, and we got this when we were doing a photo shoot with Lemieux. Um, it's really nice, and also I love this because on the other set of pads, it's black, um, but they've done a really nice job and they've matched it to navy and navy, which is very cool. I've worn this a couple times, judging by the hair. <laughs> navy looks amazing on Palomino's. We've also got the matching air bonnet to it as well, and then the hat silk. But yeah, navy looks absolutely amazing on Palomino's if you're quite a neutral person and you've got quite a bright Palomino. I definitely recommend um, the ice blue, um, the navy, and then I'll go through some other colours. I think he looks so smart and posh in this navy colour. I've also got the base layer and the droppers in the 
the Muir Youth Collection range to match this and it looks so nice when I wear it all together. This is the Sage and Popcorn hasn't actually worn this, has he? He's worn it in the dressage cut, but that's where it's got the really nice shiny squares. So quick story time. Um, we were going to go to the cross country competition, um, but I ended up having to go on Snoopy. Go check out the cross country video. It was really funny. Um, but we were like, oh my goodness, we've got all of the um, saddle pads apart from the sage. So we ordered the sage saddle pad, but it didn't come in time. So we had to borrow um, my friend Steph's, um, the person who helped me in the clipping video, sage saddle pad because she's got loads of horses and she was also lending us the pony to do it on. I did wear the sage that day but it wasn't this one and it wasn't mine. <laughs> I just borrowed it. I borrowed the pony and the saddle pad. I haven't got the hat silk or the ear bonnet for the sage but I have got the base layer so that's one match mind your point. This is the saddle pad from HH Unique and it's got a really nice furry bit here to protect their withers and it's got these lovely straps. They're all on like one buckle, so which is, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, it also makes the saddle look a bit less cluttered with it all in the same place. Um, but yeah, we haven't actually worn this saddle pad yet. But yeah, it's really nice, really thick and plushy as well. Next is this weather, weather beater? Weather beater saddle pad, and it's kind of a dressage cut, kind of a GP cut, like it's more dressage than GP, but you can use it for jumping. Um, I've worn this a couple times, um, not as hairy as some of the others, um, but yeah, it's a really nice one. I actually did my um, sitting trot, no stirrup lesson in this. Um, I don't have the hazard or the ear bonnet for it, but I do have the fluffy brushing boots for it. They are so cute and fluffy and Popcorn just looks absolutely amazing in it. Next is the Mink. And I definitely recommend this to someone who has a Palomino and they're quite a neutral person. Um, I definitely recommend this apart from in the winter because I tried it on Popcorn the other day um, to see if it would look good, but it, it made popcorn look really, really white, <laughs> like a cremello. So I wouldn't recommend it in the winter, but in the summer, it looks really good if you're a neutral person. Mm, there's a shaving on there, I don't know how that's got on there. I've got the ear bonnet for this, but not the hat, so because it's the same colour. Kind of, yeah. Oh, I think we got it when it was the ombre, like when they were selling the ombre. Um, spectrum. Yeah. I've got a piece of the spectrum. That is cool. Oh my goodness. This logo is like luminescent. Like underneath it, there's like a luminescent, but then it's like all glittery in the logo. It's like a luminous. That is very cool. Oh, I've never noticed that before. So this is the oak and we've actually ordered it in the Loire, is it? Like where it's got the big shiny squares. Um, we've worn this quite a few times. Don't know how sand's got on here. Um, but yeah, it's quite hairy hat silk here. And it's one of my favourite colours. I really like it. I just love the oak. It's a really good colour for the autumn, especially when your palominos are looking more like cremellos than palominos. Um, they look really nice in it. We've also ordered the oak in the Loire version. So it's got bigger squares and they're shiny. Um, I love the Loire. It's so shiny and pretty. I'm really looking forward to seeing the Oak Loire arriving and I'll definitely be getting on popcorn, that on popcorn the day that that arrives. So yeah. It's also, this is one of my and my mum's favourites. Now we've got the Musk and wasn't this the second saddle pad that we got for popcorn? I think so. Yeah, so this one's also got big memories. Oh yeah, this was definitely one that we got um, early whilst we had popcorn. It's very hairy. Um, you can see some white hairs in it from when we got popcorn. I've got the ear bonnet here, but not the hat silk. I really like the musk ear bonnet because it's got like two different shades of purple in it. That's really nice. Um, we've also got the matching brushing boots. 
I've also got the brushing boots in the ice bill. I forgot to say that. Do we have them in the hunter green? Uh, the oak? Yeah. We've got them in the oak as well. Next, we've got quite a bright one. So if you're quite a neutral person, this is going to be quite a shock. <laughs> um, so we won this quite recent, didn't we? I haven't worn it too much because, again, it's a very bright set I've had. Um, but, you know, when I'm feeling quite bright and fun, I do like to wear this. Um, also, fun fact about weather, be weather beater. Um, they've got um, air holes all the way down the middle, so it's very breathable for your horse or pony like Pogon. We worn this in one of our dressage lessons and he, we've got the matching polo wraps for it as well. Um, we've got the matching ear bonnet as well. Let me quickly get it. Yep, so here is the matching ear bonnet. I just love how marbly it all is. It looks really nice. And he also worn this in one of my most recent vlogs, which was when we turned popcorn pink. <laughs> By the way, the pink's all coming out now, it's fine. He hasn't been stained pink. It has taken about a week, though, to get all the pink out of his mane. I was getting a bit worried at first when it wasn't coming out. But next is one of my most recent saddle pads. One of my most recent saddle pads. And this is the Lawaka. As you can see, they're a lot bigger. This is just a mulberry, it happens to match. Um, so this is the normal size saddle, um, saddle pad squares and this is the Loire. You can see that it's, a, if you did like a size measurement, it's about four squares, roughly. So this is the Rioja and I just absolutely love um, the shiny squares on it. It makes it look so, just, it makes it a bit different and it stands out a lot more. It's got um, some like, embroidery rope all the way around it and I've actually worn this the other day didn't I in my lesson but yeah as you can see it's quite hairy already we've ordered this exact same pad but in the oak so just give it a little picture in your brain there so we've got the matching hat silk for it again Lemia do an amazing choice choosing their pom-pom colors to match with their hat silk colors and then we've got the matching little ear bonnet and the matching brushing boots as well. Uh, my mum did a full matchy matchy shop with this. She got it using um, my birth, some of my leftover the birthday money, um, and she completely just surprised me. And I'm absolutely shocked of what she did. It was such an amazing choice. This is the mulberry. It's either mulberry or burgundy, and it wasn't again. Wasn't it again one of the first saddle pads that we got? We got this in within the first six weeks of owning popcorn when our saddle pad collection really started to grow. It's quite similar to the Rioja. I've got the ear bonnet for this as well, and it's not like the normal um, hat silks. As you can see, they're very different. You might have noticed the ears are a bit bigger. They're the soundproof ears, so they're thick and padded so if your horse is quite spooky with that loud noises this one is quite good we've got the sparkles going all the way around i love this set on him it's so pretty and so nice so next we've got the black saddle pad we've actually didn't we get this at the the Mia photo shoot that we did um it's quite hairy um because i've worn it quite a lot of times Wait, should we count them? Okay. At the end. Uh, okay, at the end, once we've gone through all of them. Well, actually, guys, you count them. I probably should have said this at the start of the video. Um, you count them, rewind back a couple of minutes, and see how many there are. And comment down below how many you think there are, and we'll count through all of them and see who um, has, you know, guessed the right amount. So at my pony club, the uniform is like a hunter green. So we've got the matching saddle pad and we've worn it quite a lot. For all of our pony club events, we've worn it. Um, and it's the squares of up here have kind of vanished and hairs just cover them. So this needs a wash, not, well, not a wash, a wash very, very, very quickly. Oh God, so itchy, there's so much hair everywhere. Oh, we've also got the matching hat silk for the hunter green as well. 
Now on to the dressage cuts. And first on the top, we've got the ice equestrian blue saddle pad. And we haven't actually worn this one yet, so I do need to wear it at some point before Popcorn magically grows. <laughs> no, I'm really joking. He's going to stay his size forever now. He's not going to shrink or grow, hopefully. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful cut. So we've also got the matching ear bonnet for it. And I like the design of the Ice Equestrian ear bonnets because it's perfect for like flies and it's really breathable. Next up is my mum's all time favorite. It is the Kentucky saddle pad and it is so soft and I absolutely love it. It's, you know, quite like, do you get what I mean if I say vintage? It's like more, it reminds me of like an old granny's house who's still very vintagey and it's a very traditional country vibe and it's an amazing color on popcorn because it doesn't make him look really, 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 really light. It's also velvet and guys, I wish you could feel this because it's so soft. I can't stop rubbing my hands against it. And um, we've got the matching polo wraps. I've ridden in this one today actually. So it's quite wet still because Popcorn was such a good boy and he was very, very sweaty. Um, but because we've clipped him, the hair doesn't come off anymore, just the sweat marks. That is our first Kentucky saddle pad. Next up, we've got my NAF saddle pad, my white NAF saddle pad for when I go to dressage tests. Um, it's quite dirty around here. One, because my legs can't really reach the bottom of it. Um, so yeah, I kind of need to kick there. So Popcorn feels it, because if I kick there, I kick the girth. I've worn this a couple of times. I worn it for a pony mag photo shoot, and I, didn't I wear it the other day? I don't know if it was this one because I've got two of them. Oh wait, no, that one's in the package staying clean for when we do 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 for when we do dressage tests and not just play around at home. But yeah, it's quite sweaty, quite dirty, and it really shows up the dirt on the white one, which is not nice. But at least we've got one saved that is white and not dirty. I am sponsored by NAF, so this is why I've got the branded saddle pad. And then next up is the equestrian stockcom. I have got the matching base layer for this. Um, I think I've got the polar wraps as well. Um, but when I do wear it, I want to go full on matchy matchy. And I think this is a bit smaller than the Lemieux one. I have been wanting a baby blue saddle pad forever. And this is his first proper baby blue saddle pad. And I absolutely love it. It's really spongy. Um, but look at all of the pearls around the edges. It looks absolutely amazing. Next, I have got this dressage glitter saddle pad. I've worn it once or twice before, but yeah, it's lovely and gritty, glittery. It's got hints of purple in it, which I really like about it. It's made by Equestrian, um, and it's quite plushy as well, so good for dressage. Next, this dressage saddle pad is from PS of Sweden. Um, it's got lovely bedazzled all around the edges. It's like not pearls, but not like di but well, it is diamonds, but it looks like pearls. I just love the frilly edge. It's so cute. Um, I've worn it a couple times, as you can see. Um, yeah, let's just close that. This color is called Creme de la Creme, and it does show up a lot of marks. So it's definitely not an everyday saddle pad. We get it out once or twice a month. If that. If that, because I don't want to get it dirty. It's just too precious. <laughs> He's also got the polo wraps to match that. And then here we've got the, isn't this a dressage? No, not a jumping cut. I've got two glittery saddle pads here. They are from Pony Art. I've got the matching bell boots and brushing boots um, and head collars, no, not head collars. Well, I do actually have a head collars and the bridles to go with both. Um, yes, it's full on matchy matchy. So we've got, you can tack up in the glittery head collar. You can put the glittery bridle on. You can put um, glitter all over them basically by just tacking them up because you can get the bell boots, the brushing boots, saddle pad. 
ear bonnet, bridle. Um, you can just glitter -fy your horse just by tacking them up, basically. These are from Ponia. I've got the rose gold and the burgundy glitter. Um, they've also got bedazzle all around the edges. Popcorn did a photo shoot for Ponyo, so I got to keep them, which was very, very nice of them. Next up is the Athena saddle pad, and I really like it because it's got loads of embroidery all down the edges here. It's got loads of gold, and it's really, really good. It is white, so you can take it to competitions. Um, it is quite hairy, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, it's perfect if you want to go to competitions because it is allowed to be worn at competitions because it's nice and white. If you don't know what a it is, it's the amazing magnetic stirrups that I've got. It's just best not to wear the white ones or the cream ones every day because they just get so dirty. So it's not really any point wearing them because they're just going to get dirty and then you're going to put them in the washing machine. Then you're going to think, oh, it's so nice and white and then you're going to wear it again. Then it's just a whole life cycle of washing your saddle pads. We try and leave the white ones for just special occasions. Last but not least, I have the Loire Sage Dressage Saddle Pad. It is the full, so it is a tiny bit big, um, but it keeps it off their withers by this amazing squidgy padded thing at the top. <laughs> Again, I love anything from the Loire range, even if it's the Dijon. Um, I don't really, this is just my personal opinion. I don't think I would like the Dijon if I put it on popcorn and worn it just because it's, it's, he's a Palomino, he's not gonna suit it. Only if he was to go really, really, really white, I think then I might get away with wearing it. It's just a bit clashy for him. So this is the Acavello gel saddle pad with the sheepskin fur, and it's quite thick. I wear it for all of my um, saddles, and it's, really really good it's quite jiggly it's not actually that heavy it's really nice like I can throw it and it just like flops back to its normal position and you put this on top of the saddle pad but underneath the saddle I am a huge fan of half pads you can because you can get them in any color and any like fluff color well not any color unless you could have like made your own half pad and it's like rainbow um, but the usual colours are black, brown and then white. You can get those all in different jelly versions. I'm going to go to this one. This was actually my mum's when she had her pony. Um, it's quite old, as you can see. It's got the older Lemieux Lem um, logo and it's got different writing at the top. So it's one of the older versions, quite hard to get now. It's pretty vintage, really, if it was my mum's when she had her pony. The um, fluff is still quite soft, though, surprisingly. And um, you can see she's got some bay hairs. Have I worn this on popcorn? No. No, we're keeping it preserved so the hair in it's compressed. <laughs> and then next we've got my black half pad. And I always like touching it down the middle because it's so fluffy and soft down the middle. If you've got enough room underneath your saddle, I definitely recommend getting a half pad because they look really good and you can get them in almost every colour because I've got black, white and then brown here. Um, but, and then this isn't actually um, a half pad or like a saddle pad really. It's kind of like a, it's got a half pad up here but then like down here is a saddle pad. So this is perfect for showing it's got fluff all round it and it's the Acavello showing cut and it's like not leather down here but not fluffy. I've been to about two or three shows in this and this is the only thing that I wear for them. It's really neutral, really natural. When you go to shows um, they want you to, they want, the judges want you to see more of your horse and not it taken up by the bright colourful saddle pads that you have. Um, so this is the perfect cut for it. So the judge can see all of the horses back and it's the same size as your saddle basically, but you can get it in all different sizes, it's not just in this size. So this is what I wear at showing. And finally I wanted to show you the saddle pad 
that they gave us when we got popcorn because they gave us popcorn kindly his saddle when we got him and you can see it's very fluffy um well it's kind of more like fluff in here than it is velcro this was what i was riding in for the first week or so i mean it did the job we've just kept it really for when we got popcorn he came with a few things like rugs head collar and then a little saddle pad and his tack and obviously popcorn. So it's quite sentimental and I just remember like this is the saddle pad that we got him in but we're never going to be um, selling this or getting rid of it because it's just memories. So this is the end of the saddle pad collection vlog. It was so requested. You guys all wanted to see how many saddle pads I've got. Make a comment in the comments below of how many saddle pads you think we've got. It's just really nice having loads of saddle pads and it like it kind of depends on what mood I'm in for what saddle pad I wear. So like say if I'm feeling really bright and out there I might wear the navy glacé or my weather beater like pink galaxy one. It also depends on the weather like if it's really sunny we might wear a bright one but if it's quite dark we might wear like a more of a autumny kind of thing. Popcorn is such a lucky boy to have so many saddle pads. I don't think he even notices if I've got a new one on. I mean, he might occasionally notice if I've put a different ear bonnet on him because he looks in the mirror in the arena. But apart from that, I don't think he really notices. It's also really nice that we've got so many different colour choices for Instagram, photos and thumbnails for the videos. And yeah, it's just so much fun having so many different bright saddle pads. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Time for me to put these all back. Oh, I've got two different ones. Oh.